Victoria Arlene has faced more challenges and pain than anyone could have dreamed. Arlene had two highly rare diseases from 2006 to 2010, transverse myelitis and acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, combining these two disorders, one that produces inflammation of the spinal cord and the other that develops a tumor in the brain, can put a person in a vegetative state. The girl was 23 years old when she spent four years immobile and silent, two of which she was completely aware of what was going on around her but couldn't communicate. To put it another way, it's a nightmare. Arlene was a very active youngster as a small child, born in triplets with two brothers. She enjoyed dancing, swimming, and playing hockey before the age of 11. What her parents mistook for minor flu-like symptoms turned out to be a life-altering sickness that abruptly launched their daughter down a dark path. She caught pneumonia at the age of 11 and was paralyzed to the waist two weeks later, resulting in a coma. Doctors couldn't diagnose her at the time, so Arlene saw her body deteriorate until she lost cognitive ability. I was really scared, she admitted. I knew that if I just stopped fighting, it wouldn't hurt me anymore and I wouldn't have to suffer. But death is an easy way out. She was able to break through and finally notice the changes because of this technique. I kept reminding myself that everything was fine and that I was still alive, she explains. Her family set up a hospital room in their home to care for her and communicated with her. Although they were unaware that she had heard them, it was extremely beneficial to her. And in 2009, she was finally able to contact her mother. The girl restored her capacity to work by first blinking her eyes, then moving her hands. The only drawback was that she was told she would be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of her life. But that didn't deter her. Arlene joined the USA Paralympic swimming squad in 2012 and competed in the London Games, where she won three silver medals and one gold. She crossed the country in search of assistance, determined to move on. At Project Walk, a paralysis recovery center in San Diego, I found the hope I needed. Thanks to the Dardzinski Method, activity-based therapy, and Project Walk, many people have been able to cope with paralysis, regain working capacity, and even walk, she wrote for ESPN. Her family founded Project Walk Boston in 2015 so that they could stay at home and help countless other people with disabilities. Arlene took her first steps on March 3, 2016. This was a watershed moment not only in her life, but also in the lives of many others who followed her journey as it provided hope for recovery. This does not imply that everything is finished. Walking is still tough for me and I continue to have substantial disabilities. I wear suspenders, work out for two to three hours a day and have a chair or crutches on hand for days when my legs seem immobilized. However, my struggle is less visible now, she wrote for ESPN. She is still an inspiration to many people throughout the world today as she solves new challenges every day. You might have seen her on Dancing with the Stars 25th season. She attempted to push herself not only physically but also emotionally. Her latest book, Locked In, The Will to Survive and Resolve to Live, will be released in August 2018 and will allow readers to comprehend her condition as she faced challenges and regained strength. Arlene's strength of character teaches us all that appreciation and positivity can go a long way in the face of adversity. Climbing can be difficult and demanding, but it's well worth it. This pain serves a purpose. You just can't see it right away, she tells ESPN.